What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert if this is your first time tuning in. So today we're going to be diving into the different types of doves, especially here in South Texas or Texas in general. Um, this was a question that was asked to my email. So I'm putting this on a video since dove season has officially started as of today, September 1st. Alright guys, so don't forget to check out the merch store. I'll link a shirt right here. And don't forget to check out everything in the descriptions. I do offer other things as well. And I do have another channel called The Country Investor for anyone who is interested in finances. Definitely check out that channel. It will be linked down below. Without further ado, let's get started into this video. So dove season here in Texas has officially started um, September 1st, but not for the south zone. It's only for the north and central zone. So... The last, the, basically the question was, how do I dif differentiate between, you know, morning doves and white wings and all of that? So today I'm going to be illustrating and describing what the birds look like, along with pictures, there'll be pictures up in here of the birds I'm specifically talking about in this specific moment. So to start it off, the most common bird you're going to find here in Texas, um, especially here in South Texas, is going to be the morning dove. Those birds are very how you can di di distinguish a morning dove in the air mid-flight is going to be their agility. They're really, really fast, really agile, um, especially if you're um, shooting. These birds are going to be zipping and zagging just crazy. They're really aerodynamic birds. Like I said, there'll be a picture of it here while I'm describing it. They're very aerodynamic. Um, they have a little bit of spotting on their faces. Um, and they're just really, really quick, really agile. They fly really fast. Um, the next bird we're going to discuss is going to be the white wing dove. So the white wing is kind of how it's described on its name, white wing. So they have a white tipped on their wing. Those birds are typically a little fatter, a little bit bigger. Um, I, I prefer white wings just because they do give more meat for, um, for each bird. Um, they're a little bit thicker. These are a little bit more like gliders, I want to say. They still are pretty, pretty fast. You know, they're still agile, but not as agile as the morning dove. Um, these birds, they'll kind of just, uh, they'll do a lot more hovering. And they aren't as, as like I said, as agile, um, zigging and zagging when you're shooting at them like a morning dove will. So the next one is going to be the um, Eurasian collar dove. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Eurasian collar dove. Um, the Eurasian collar dove is about the same size. More, It's kind of between the morning and the white wing dove as far as size goes. Um, but these birds have a collar around their neck and that's where they get their name, you know, Eurasian collar dove. It's a black little line around their neck. Um, you'll be able to see it here in the photo. Um, these birds are not so, so common out here in the country. I haven't really seen many if any out here um, but when we do go to the cities i will see them sometimes on power lines um, they're not as popular here in the south as they are you know mornings and white wings um, mornings are usually your more common ones followed by your white wings followed by the eurasians um, minus another bird we're going to talk about here in, in a little bit so the next bird we're going to discuss is the rock dove um, just for reference, the rock dove and the Eurasian collar dove can be hunted year-round. Mind you have a, uh, a hunting license. Um, so the white wings, white-tipped wings, and the morning doves, um, they're seasonal. And you'll be able to pick up the seasons on the TPW website, uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department website. I'll link that down below as well. Um, but yeah, so the rock rock doves, they look kind of like pigeons in my opinion. Um, they're little, they're a little bit bigger birds. Um, I've never shot any rock doves. I've never even seen a rock dove, but I know that they are out there. Um, but like I said, they are bigger birds, and they are you are able to hunt those year round, um, given you have a hunting license. So we're not going to get too much into those because I don't know a whole lot about those, but um, they are out there. So the next dove we're going to talk about is called the Inca dove. So these are very common here in South Texas, um, in Texas in general. Um, and you don't want to shoot these. These birds are usually, from my experience, I've seen these things all the time, every day. Um, they go from tree to tree. They don't usually get up too, too high as far as what I've seen. They usually stay in around tree level, um, jumping from tree to tree. Well, flying from tree to tree, not jumping. Um, and 
they'll usually find them early mornings on the ground sometimes you know eating bugs or little little things they find um but they are not legal to shoot so be careful that you don't actually shoot these things they're a lot smaller as well there'll be pictures here they're smaller birds um, you can really see it like a little point on their beaks um, they look kind of pointy um, but like I said you don't want to shoot these because they are protected they are illegal to shoot so keep that in mind so the last bird we're going to talk about is called the white tipped not the white wing there's a white wing which has the white on their wings and there's the white tipped dove. So the white tipped is a very pale looking bird. They don't have, they're very pale from the chest and they don't have any significant markings on their face. Um, not sure exactly why they're called white tipped, but um, that's their name, white tipped doves. And so those are the three species you can hunt um, during the season uh, here in Texas. Your white tipped, your white wing, and your morning. So just to kind of go over them again, um, the, the morning dove is going to be your most common dove. Um, they usually are in fields just flying and they're a lot more zippy. They're more agile, like I said, faster. Um, a little more aerodynamic looking, especially in the air. You can kind of tell a morning from a white wing um, or any other dove um, just because of how they look. Um, and they're a lot more zippy. Like I said, they'll come from behind you and they'll just zip by really quickly. And then when you're shooting at them, they're really zigzaggy. So the morning doves are a little bit bigger. So that's probably why they're a little slower. They're not as agile, um, but they are fatter. They're fatter and you get more meat off of the morning doves. Not that doves have a ton of meat, but you do get a little bit more off of morning doves. Um, these things look a little bit more like they're gliding. And especially if you have like decoys and stuff like that, mojos, um, they'll be doing a lot more gliding motion. And you can tell the difference in size. If you, if you hunt enough, you'll be able to distinguish a morning and a white wing. Um, Mornings are a little smaller, white wings are a little bit thicker. Um, the next one also is going to be the white tipped wing. I mean, white tipped wing, white tipped dove. Um, those are, like I said, pale on the chest, no real significant markings on the face. Um, and they do a little bit of a gliding motion as well, not quite as agile as the morning doves, um, but more agile than the white wings. So they're kind of an in between bird. And so the Inca doves, those are really small birds. Um, they just usually glide from tree to tree. Um, they're not really, you know, high flyers or anything like that. They usually go from tree to tree. They'll be in and around the ground. They'll be by you. They're not really scared of people in my experience. So um, just be careful you don't shoot those because if a game warden does catch you, um, that is a fine because they are protected. They're not legal to hunt. So keep that in mind. Again, it's important you know what kind of dove you are shooting at. Because there are bag limits, especially here in South Texas, we have like a special white wing season. You can only have so many white wings. And if you have all morning morning doves, and that's a problem. Or any other type of dove, that's a problem. So it's important you can identify your birds as they are flying. Um, again, this is going to take some you know experience. Over time, you'll build up that experience in knowing what kind of dove is what. As you shoot them and bring them down, you can identify them. Um, but definitely the Incas, you'll be able to identify those because those are flying from tree to tree they're on the ground they're not going to be usually up coming out of the sky typically um, and they're really small they look kind of scaly that's how, the best way i can describe them is they're, they're scaly so those are the ones you might get most confused with um, that you can get in trouble for is going to be those incas um, like i said they're not very big um, and they're easy to distinguish from other doves because they are so much smaller and they don't have the typical flight patterns of, you know, a morning white wing or white tip dove. So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, avoid them from getting a ticket. So share it with anybody who is needing some help identifying type of birds. Like I said, there'll be photos for all these birds up here. Um, but yeah, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the uh, question. Definitely submit questions. You can leave them down in the comments below if you have any more questions. Um, if you're needing more clarification on rules and regulations, I'd be more than happy to do that as well. Um, yeah, without further ado, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.